guys are changing your place and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a 3D model of a plant cell and an animal cell. So obviously it requires some pretty simple materials. This is homemade. So first up we have these foam sheets which we use in different colors. So as you can see we have purple, black, and orange. And then we have a bunch of these different colored craft ribbons too which we use. We also use some modeling dough, some clay, as you can see. And then we use some of these twisty strings too, in different colors. As you can see, we used green over there, and orange and yellow. That's why there's not any in here. And then next we use some paint for the, cyto for the cytoplasm. And, that is, and then we use these things like some Halloween foam sheet carvings, like we cut off the stem and then placed it, paste it here, like that. That's a, that was the book and now it's a vacuole. So uh, yeah. So the materials I used were the, for the for the base, I used some thermocol, as you can see. Just a very quick layer right here. So for the cytoplasm up here, first I used just some plain red paint and then next for the cell membrane, I used some red ribbon, as you can see on the sides here, very red ribbon. And then next for my nucleus, I used uh, some just some yellow modeling clay, as you can see right here. And then that for next, I used mitochondria, which... And then also for the nuclear envelope, as it which is part of the nucleus, I used blue modeling clay that which is down there yep right there and then next i have the mitochondria which i use red and black clay to make as you can see i put like five in, in that cell and then here for the vacuole i just use some orange foam sheets like this uh where's it where's it you know what I'm talking about. That, like this red, this orange pumpkin here, I just cut off the stem and put it on, and that's my vacuole. So here's a mini example of it right here. So for the, my rough, rough endoplasmic reticulum, I decided to use some yellow like, twisty string, except in yellow color. And then since it's rough, I added some sesame seeds, seeds which are basically proteins, I mean ribosomes, which produce proteins, and they're obviously glued on. For my smooth endoplasmic reticulum, I just use one plain twisty string with zero sesame seeds. After that, next, I have my ribosome, which is basically a black, which is part of this black foam sheet. I just took, I just, uh, sorry, let me use, no. I just used, popped out one of these circles, took the sticker off, took the sticker off, and then just, Put it on, and that's and that's was my ribosome. That's what I use for my ribosome. And next, with AK the nuclear envelope, but we already talked about that. Just this blue modern clay. Next, we have the Golgi bodies, which basically used some some foam sheets like this one, except in a different shape, which we cut out and used. Finally, for the animal cell, we have the lysosomes, which are also made out of these foam sheets we just cut, glued, sticker, and pasted it on. For plant cell, the only, everything is the same except the vacuole, cell wall, and the chloroplast. And so, basically for the vacuole, I pretty much just use a big piece of white modeling clay because in fact, we all know in plant cell vacuole is one large vacuole. So then we this, and then we use a green layer of twisty string here as my cell wall. I think it is darker green, so it's easier to tell apart. And then finally, we have the chloroplast, which is also made out of green and black modeling clay. Which I just, yeah. So that for for the plant and cell key, we use the same materials we used in the model so that is easier to read. For example, the cytoplasm, we also use paint, just not in the same color. The cell membrane, again, not in the same color. The nucleus, we also had a little model of it and it looks pretty nice. We did the same thing for animal up here and plant down here. 
And then again, mitochondria, different color, vacuole, different color, endoplasm, reticulum, rough and smooth, different color. Golgi body is different color, ribosome, different color. Everything is basically different color from the animal and plant cell. So uh, as you can see, so for the differences between the animal cell and plant cell is obviously the first thing you would notice is the big white glob here, which is a vacuole because in plant cells, the vacuole is actually much larger than your usual vacuole in the animal cell, which is a lot smaller. That's just one of those things. So, and then next thing you would also notice is these green and black things, which are basically chloroplasts. So as you can see, made out of green and black clay. We mostly use clay for this project because that's all we had on hand. Next, another difference is the cell wall, which only plant cells have, as you can see. We use a darker green for it so that it's like easier to like see.